It's official, everyone. SpaceX has just announced the updated schedule for Flight 7, including a significantly revised flight timeline. The countdown has officially begun. To support this mission, numerous upgrades and preparations are already underway. Meanwhile, Blue Origin's new Glen may face delays, and the company is contending with a fine related to a recent hot fire test. There is a lot of breaking news to cover, so let's dive into all of it on today's episode of Great SpaceX. As the launch date approaches, SpaceX enthusiasts and spaceflight followers have eagerly awaited an official announcement to confirm the specifics of the next Starship test flight. Finally, SpaceX has delivered the news everyone has been anticipating. Through its official account on X, SpaceX announced, the seventh flight test of Starship is preparing to launch as soon as Monday, January 13th. Teams at Starbase are keeping an eye on weather conditions for pre-flight operations. This announcement not only confirms the anticipated launch date, but also provides additional updates about recent hardware improvements and mission objectives. The announcement includes a timeline for the flight, setting the launch time at 4 p.m. Central. A live webcast will commence 35 minutes before liftoff, available on SpaceX's official website, the X platform, and the XTV app. This timing ensures that critical phases of the mission, including the landing attempts, will occur during daylight hours offering a clear view of the operations. This detail builds on the adjustments made during Flight 6, which provided excellent visibility of Ship 31's landing attempt. However, this time, SpaceX aims to perfect the process, particularly the catch attempt for the Super Heavy booster. Preparations for this test have been extensive, with significant upgrades to both the ship and the Super Heavy booster. For Starship S-33, new imagery highlights several updates. Photos taken during S-33's lifting process in Mega Bay 2 reveal nearly 50 isolated spots across the vehicle where heat shield tiles are absent. SpaceX has clarified that these gaps are intentional, designed to facilitate stress testing in vulnerable areas. Additionally, an intriguing, an intriguing new feature has been installed, a catching system located near the position previously specified in S-35's development update. While this flight won't involve an actual catch attempt for S-33, the system's presence suggests that SpaceX is rigorously testing its survivability during re-entry. These modifications are critical milestones toward enabling future catch and reuse capabilities. Meanwhile, the Super Heavy Booster B-14 has also undergone thorough preparations. Recent photos indicate that vent covers have been removed, signaling readiness for the next phase of operations. Once S-33 is stacked atop B-14 at the launch pad, the two stages will be fully integrated and ready for the mission. The timeline for Flight 7 closely follows the procedures established in previous Starship tests, with only minor adjustments to the sequence and duration of certain steps. The countdown begins approximately 75 minutes before liftoff, with the SpaceX flight director conducting a poll to verify go status for fueling. Fueling operations will commence at T minus 44 minutes and 59 seconds with liquid oxygen loaded onto the ship, followed shortly by liquid methane at T minus 42 minutes 20 seconds. Booster fueling will follow a similar sequence with methane loading starting at T minus 41 minutes 24 seconds and liquid oxygen loading at T minus 35 minutes 28 seconds. Engine chill procedures will be initiated at T minus 19 minutes 40 seconds to prepare the Raptors for ignition. At T minus 3 minutes and 20 seconds and T minus 2 minutes and 50 seconds, fueling for the ship and booster respectively will be completed. As the final countdown approaches, the SpaceX flight director will verify go for launch at T minus 30 seconds and the water deluge system will activate at T minus 10 seconds. At T-0, the 33 Raptor engines will ignite, propelling the world's largest and most powerful rocket into the sky for its seventh test flight. Approximately 62 seconds after liftoff, Starship will encounter Max-Q, the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure. At T plus 2 minutes and 32 seconds, the Super Heavy Booster will shut down its engines in preparation for stage separation. This process, supported by the hot staging system, will take place at T plus 2 minutes and 40 seconds, with the ship igniting its engines to continue its journey. Following stage separation, the Super Heavy Booster will initiate a boost back burn at T plus 2 minutes 46 seconds, a maneuver that will last until T plus 3 minutes and 29 seconds. Shortly afterward, the hot staging ring will be jettisoned. The booster will then descend toward the landing zone, entering the transonic phase at T plus 6 minutes and 26 seconds. 
Nine seconds later, at T plus 6 minutes 35 seconds, the landing burn will begin, guiding the booster toward Mechazilla's catch arms. While the primary goal is to catch the booster, SpaceX has indicated that a soft landing in the Gulf of Mexico will serve as a contingency if safety cannot be assured. However, SpaceX enthusiasts are hopeful that this flight will mark the first 100% successful catch attempt, further advancing the reusability of the Super Heavy booster. Meanwhile, Starship S-33 will continue its ascent after separating from the booster. At T plus 8 minutes and 53 seconds, the ship's engines will cut off, completing its primary ascent phase. A critical new milestone will occur at T plus 17 minutes and 33 seconds, when the ship performs a payload deployment demonstration, releasing 10 simulated Starlink satellites. This test aims to validate Starship's ability to deploy payloads in orbit, a key capability for its future missions. At T plus 37 minutes and 33 seconds, the ship's Raptor engines will reignite in space, a procedure successfully demonstrated during Flight 6. The reentry sequence will begin at T plus 47 minutes and 14 seconds, with the ship entering the transonic and subsonic phases at T plus 1 hour and 3 minutes 12 seconds, and T plus 1 hour 4 minutes and 25 seconds, respectively. The final moments of the mission will occur at approximately T plus 1 hour 6 minutes and 13 seconds, when the ship performs a landing flip, followed by a landing burn 6 seconds later. By T plus 1 hour and 6 minutes 39 seconds, the ship is expected to achieve a controlled vertical landing in the Indian Ocean, concluding the test flight. This flight introduces only one significant new step, the payload deployment demonstration, but it represents a vital evolution in Starship's capabilities. SpaceX's success in this mission would mark another major achievement, reinforcing the company's position at the forefront of space exploration. With every test, SpaceX pushes the boundaries of what is possible in aerospace technology. Flight 7 represents a critical step forward, combining hardware improvements, procedural refinements, and new mission objectives. As we approach the launch date, the excitement surrounding this milestone is palpable. Space enthusiasts worldwide are eagerly counting down to January 13th, ready to witness the next leap in humanity's journey to the stars. On top of that, SpaceX has shared more updates, including significant details about upcoming launch schedules. The FAA has issued a new NOTAM, or Notice to Airmen, concerning the Super Heavy landing site in the Gulf of Mexico, listing potential dates from January 14th to the 20th in UTC. This timeline aligns with SpaceX's recent updates, but it's curious that the 13th is absent from the announcement, possibly an oversight. Additionally, a separate warning was issued for the ship landing site in the Indian Ocean with a time frame from the 13th to the 17th, which matches SpaceX's schedule. As for hardware preparations, S-33 appears fully ready, including its Starlink payload. Row closures are scheduled for the evening of the 8th or the morning of the 9th, which suggests that by now, S-33 has likely been transported to the launch site. The next critical step is the wet dress rehearsal, which is officially scheduled between 5 in the morning to 5 in the evening on the 10th or the 11th. If all goes according to plan, Starship will be ready to fly as scheduled. Now turning to SpaceX's rival Blue Origin and its new Glenn rocket, things seem less promising. Initially, New Glenn was slated to launch on January 10th, but reports suggest the launch could be delayed to later in the week or even beyond. Weather conditions appear to be a contributing factor, but another issue is that the New Glenn hardware is no longer on the pad. It's reportedly back inside the factory. This raises an intriguing question, will Starship Flight 7 take off before New Glenn's inaugural launch? Blue Origin is also grappling with some legal troubles. The Florida Department of Environmental Protection, or FDEP, recently fined the company $3,250 for using an unauthorized deluge system during a hot fire test on the 27th of December. The penalty includes $3,000 in civil fines and $250 for costs incurred by the department during their investigation. The FDEP letter issued on the 7th highlighted that Blue Origin operated the deluge system before obtaining a permit, resulting in the unauthorized discharge of untreated industrial wastewater into the environment. The letter further stated, While Blue Origin applied for a permit for the LC-36 deluge system on May 31st of 2024, no permit has been issued to date, and the system may not be placed into service. This static fire appears to constitute an intentional unauthorized discharge of untreated industrial wastewater to the environment. This situation underscores a potential double standard in regulatory enforcement. While the FAA granted Blue Origin a test and launch license despite unresolved compliance issues, SpaceX has faced stringent oversight. 
Last year, SpaceX encountered fines and environmental challenges related to its water deluge system at Boca Chica, claims that were ultimately proven to be unfounded. Perhaps Blue Origin is now gaining a clearer perspective on the challenges SpaceX has endured. The company's recent setbacks highlight the hurdles it faces before New Glenn can launch. With so many obstacles, one has to wonder if Blue Origin can overcome them or if it will continue to trail behind SpaceX. For now, all eyes remain on the countdown for both SpaceX and Blue Origin as the race to revolutionize spaceflight intensifies. This has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, keep looking up.